All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so, as you can welcome see, we've back. done some things between uh, the last episode and this one. Um, we had to take a quick uh, break, and while uh, we were doing that, a sneaker snuck up. A creeper snuck up on me, blew up the chest and myself, and then while I was fixing that, another one blew up, and just a string of events. So we decided to just put a roof up here. Uh, we went gathering harvesting a lot of the uh, the wood that was left in the original spawn area. So the least we can make tools, so we've made it probably about 400 feet, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um, so we've been trying to light some things up a bit, just to kind of get it a little safer for us. Uh, we were able to finally get one of the one of the zombies to drop a potato, so we put some of the bones to use and got a little potato farm. So we now have food, which is good because we were struggling with that. So I think, I think that pretty much sums it up, right? Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good. I mean, we got some more lighting up and we gathered some wood and all the cobblestone we could find, but we are running low on everything else. I think. Yeah, we are. We are. So. uh I think we should now, I think we can now head over, to, oh, we also found a, the spider spawner. There, I thought there was one over here, and uh, we, Ragemore did find it. So we got that squared away, so we don't have spiders dropping in on us all the time. So now, I guess yeah, let's that was uh, right clear off the left side and then move into that other area in the front there. Yeah, let me show you a spot I found while I was getting some wood. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? There was a book, too. Yep, this is where I found the book, and I'll show you. So I came in here, and uh, I was going to get that glowstone in the corner, and I had to remove a stone slab, and there's a ladder. So I thought, well, we better save that. Wait, is there anything down here now? Uh, no, well, I haven't checked it. I put some torches, and that was it. Oh, okay. Cool. And we are hurting for armor. Hopefully we can find some of that down here. I am always weary about... No, that wasn't a half slab. Doesn't look like it's trapped. <laughs> a diamond axe. Sweet. Well, there we go. We got it something, at least. Fortunately, it's not a pickaxe. <laughs> but it, it does... It will serve as a weapon, that's for sure. Cool. Alright. So not a completely wasted trip. Um, we'll read the yeah. book a little later because there's a bunch of, from what I understand, there's a bunch of lore associated with this map that, um, is supposed to be kind of neat. So we'd like to check that out. Um, uh, but we could do that a bit later. I think that was the command block, but I'm so unfamiliar with this texture pack. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's a command block. A... Huh. A weird place for a command block. And directing us to a YouTube thing. I wonder if it's an Easter egg. Cool. Alright, so, uh, is there anything else to the left here? Oh, oh sorry. Alright. Um, no, I started putting some torches. There's a nice dark spot over here where most things are spawning now, so I think that's where they're mostly going to come from. On the left here? Yeah, we've got everything else pretty lit up. Okay. Oh, you dog. And I don't know if there's anything here, if we want to light it up more, or we just leave it open so that there's always mobs spawning there instead of anywhere else. Um, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, somebody oh, look at the airman. No, 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 no. Go. Did you get him? I don't know. That enderman just kind of disappeared. Fine, as long as he doesn't come back. He was not happy. Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea. Just leave that stuff on the left side there. Just leave it dark. 
But there's a pillar over there, and I'm just wondering if there's something in it. If we go over there, that's just a bunch of crap that's gonna mess us up. Well, we just try to kill it all. There's man. Hurting here. Yeah, uh, heal up a bit. There's a lot of redstone over here, and I don't think we need any redstone. You s this is emerald? I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, wait, I don't have a pick. That'll... Is this obsidian, or is this... We can pick any of that stuff, can we? Yeah, that that's obsidian. Yeah, that's the tough part about this texture pack, if you're used to something else. Uh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> it's pretty bad when you're scrounging for cobblestone. A lot of bookshelves. Really hoping that there's an enchanting table somewhere around here. Mm. My god! Nothing in these dispensers, right? I didn't see anything. I've been checking them as I see them. What's the white block next to the emerald? I think it's just the chiseled, uh, chiseled block. Quartz? Uh, chiseled quartz, possibly? I don't know. It's I, as, <clears throat> I haven't played this pack in so long. Or not this pack, this texture pack. Bookcase. Okay, grab one. So tempting. Oh. Potions. It is chiseled quartz in case we need any of that. So we have blaze powder, magma cream, there's some bread here, fermented spider eye. Light this place up. Oh wow, look at all these water bottles and carrots. Ocean 7. Holy crap. Puffer fish. Now, the puffer fish, I'm not sure what the recipes are for these things now. I found cobble under the uh, pillar. I'm grabbing it. Blaze rods. Ooh, some steak. Or another wart. The stuff. Let me grab this stuff. I mean, do we want to make this our base area? I don't think we can, because it's really wide open here. We could do a smaller portion of it, not try to do as big as we did to the other place. I would say, what do we need here? You know what, let's make this this one here. Oh crap, there's a dude up there. Oh, lapis. This could be a junction down here. I mean, maybe making the base down that way is better. What are these blocks? Yeah, I'm just wondering about coming back here, because we do have that area over there that's all dark. I don't want them wandering over here while we're trying to do stuff. And plus, it's they'll, really dark up there. They'll despawn, though, I think, if we get far enough away. Yeah, but the guys up on top, they're going to drop down on us. I worry. Creative build, though. I like this... Uh... Like this outline with the daylight sensors. I think it's pretty safe to run through here. Let me pick up a couple of these brewing stands. There's a there's a chest over here that's got a whole whack load of water bottles in it. Got a lapis lazuli. Oh, we got an enchanted book. 
We need water cauldrons. There's a bunch of those. Okay, we're starting to get overrun. Yeah, where are you? There you are. Um, let me let me drop some of this stuff off at the at the other place. I might have looked at an Enderman. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I uh, got a splash potion of strength, which can be good. All right, let me drop some of this stuff off. Probably harder for us to do everything that new place at where we're looking at, but I don't know. Are you kidding me? Holy shnikes. Yeah, I think uh, maybe we get two stone swords, two t stone axes, and then we just, or pickaxes, and we just go, and then we have this to fall back to if we need stuff. Yeah, yeah. Down to half a heart. <laughs> all right, let me put all this potion crap in here. Butter eye. Carrots. For you. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to keep the diamond axe on me because I think that's probably a better weapon than the sword, to be honest. Heck yeah, but if you die, let's remember to get back to it. So I should leave the diamond axe here? No, I'm just making, I'm, we'll just make sure we go get it. We don't leave it behind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Carrots. Oh, man. Progress, we're back here. <laughs> All right. I think I like to organize too much. Problem. Okay, I yeah, I like a, to take things slow. I have a pickaxe and I have a stone pickaxe that's almost dead. So let me make another one quickly. I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, I've got two of each, so I think I'm good. Uh, so let me, uh, since we're here, I have the book. So what is this book called? Argus's Tale. Once upon a time, there was a man who loved to watch. <laughs> Sounds creepy. What he watched mattered not. He simply enjoyed the pleasure of seeing. Yet the clouds moving across the sky, people walking past his window, or leaves blowing past his feet, Argus loved to watch. Not sure what that means. Maybe there'll be more. All right. Oh, I have tail too. Oh, you do? Actually, I did find it. I'm, yeah, it was in another chest there. Oh, cool. I'll read it out. Go for it. it. says, but this would become his curse. One sunny day, Argus sat outside his humble home, trees bowing overhead when a singing caught his fancy. Sight was Argus' favorite thing. But the sound of the song absolutely captivated him. He did something stunning. It's only one page. Hmm. So we gotta look for part three. Find out what his stunning thing is that he did. Alright. I'm stunned that I even found any of the books, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think... from I believe that they're kind of hidden. So it might be one of those things that's not easy to find. 
here. No lag, lag. Oh, come on, dude. How many times I gotta hit you? So need armor. This is where I was I mean, digging what? cobble out. A lot of damage. Oh, is that cobble? No, that's brick. There's some in here, though, for extra tools. But we want to go downstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we got everything. Mm. Yeah, I grabbed the one, most of the ones from around that um, pillar. Although, we haven't looked over here, have we? I don't think we do want to. <laughs> I think we want to stay away from that. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Coming. Oh, I think this is where I found one of the books. The second one was right here, I think. Yep. Whoa. So I say we go down. Yep. Got everything out of that chest? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Of course, this doesn't look any better. Nope, certainly doesn't. That guy shot him right into me. The bow. Oh, what is that? Which is? Holy crap, these guys take a lot. Oh, you... How you moved. You're scaring me, too. That is a long drop. Careful. Oh, is it? Thing they can drop on us from above. Nah, the map guy wouldn't do that to us, would he? <laughs> oh, no, no. Crap. Ouch. Gotta eat, losing my health. Billy's gone. Oh, that's that's evil. Yeah, I didn't realize it until I opened it. This is a trap chest here. Whatever was in it, I got. Oh. Pay more attention to that. Uh, Argus's Tale, Part Three. Safe to read. Stone swords, four of them. Furnaces. There's something up there. Worth going up there for. Putting the extra swords on the bridge there in that chest. Okay. If there's anything worth it up there or not. Three anvils. 
blade of torch around the side there. Which way did you go? I'm behind you on the stairs. Oh, okay. I was going to say we should uh, light some torches over there so we don't get skeletons shooting us off the stairs. It's cobble, too. We should grab it. Oh, is it? Oh, well, I'll go in the other one, then. Oh, it's a stair. Oh, well, that's good. So how did that skeleton spawn, then? Even though they are stairs, I feel more comfortable. All right. <clears throat> Do we need another brick for anything? Um, I don't know. Can we use that in the the furnaces? <coughs> that would be the only thing. Lots of creepers down there, man. Freaking me out. Whoa! Went upstairs. I must be the guy I shot off earlier. Still tracking you? Yeah. <laughs> Gone now. Oh, this is just a whole lot of ugliness. Whole lot of ugliness. Oh, crap! Bugger! Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, no, no, no! No! No, uh -oh. no, 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 no! God bless it! Oh, that's bad. That is not good. That is not good at all. Oh. All right, you know what? I think we're at the end of the episode, so let's uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.